Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the emergency SOS feature on your iPhone. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. Before I show you how to access the emergency SOS feature on your iPhone, I first wanna show you where to go to set everything up. So let's start off with going into settings. Now, from here, you're gonna scroll down just a little bit, and if you look towards the middle of my screen, you'll see we have Emergency SOS. Let's tap into that. Now, I wanna go over all of these settings with you individually, and I wanna first start with actually some of the items that you'll see towards the bottom of the screen. So, I want you to first, on your iPhone, go into here where it says Set Up Emergency Contacts in Health. This is one of the screens that's going to pop up when you trigger the emergency SOS feature. And what it's going to basically do is let your contacts know that you have called for help. And then at that time, it's also going to send them your location so they will know where you are. So let's set that up right now. Now, this is going to actually bring you into the medical ID section of your iPhone. Of course, you may notice some fake information here. But one of the things that you can actually do is you can become an organ donor right through your iPhone. It'll walk you through the process. Yes, you have to agree to a bunch of different terms. And uh, of course, it's a good thing to think over thoroughly. But if you would like to be registered as an organ donor, you can do it right through your iPhone. Through this feature, you will also find you can add things like medical conditions, allergies and reactions, medications. There's a few categories that uh, you do not see here, uh, which I will show you in just a moment. Um, actually, let's go into edit here at the very top right, just so you can see what this really looks like. Now, notice when you tap edit, you can go here to either change your status as an organ donor or to edit medical ID. Let's go into that. So here at the very top, we have the option to show this feature when your iPhone is locked. I would absolutely recommend that everyone turn on this feature. Knowing how to access emergency contacts in your iPhone isn't just good for if you have a problem. It's also really good in case you discover someone else who is having a problem, provided they've taken the time to set it up. So let's scroll down a little bit, and you'll see here everything that you can actually list. Uh, I did not put in any medical notes, but you could include those. Uh, you can, of course, include the blood type. Uh, weight, height, etc. And then we have your emergency contacts. So again, these are people who when you have an emergency, if you call the emergency SOS feature on your iPhone, it is going to automatically let them know that that has happened. So if you tap on that, it's going to take you into your contacts and you can have multiple people. At this point, I'd like to show you how to initiate an SOS call. In order to do it, just press and hold either of the volume buttons along with the power button for a few seconds. Now, when you do, you'll see this screen, and at the top you can see we have an option to power off, medical ID access just below that, and an emergency SOS call will be initiated just below that. Now, there are some other features, though, that we need to go over. The first option that you'll see here is call with side button. What that means is that if you rapidly click the power button five times, it's going to automatically call your emergency service phone number. The next feature that you see below that is auto call, which is currently turned on. Now, if I hold down those buttons, if I hold down a volume button and the power button with auto call turned on, watch what happens. So as you can see there, it was about to call my emergency number automatically had I not let go. Finally, if you scroll down just below, uh, you'll notice this feature here for the countdown sound. The reason why you might want to consider turning off this feature here is because if you were ever in a situation where you needed to discreetly call for help, you obviously probably wouldn't want an alarm going off. Well, folks, that about does it for me today. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.